there or even what happens in my heart. I don't deny it, but I have that security that of the being that I am, which, which is the constant, right? And with that, I can take anything. Yes. And when you're, when you're talking about that, that living in our light and our having a conscious experience and, and once you know who you are, and you know, and you're, you're, you're rock solid in that, then to me, it like what comes to mind is it's like a daily tending to that, right? It's, 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 it's a daily. Well, you actually, you don't have to tend to it anymore because you're living it. You're, you're living, you're continuing in conscious consciousness, in awareness yeah. of the being that you are. So yeah. whatever you do is related or comes forth from that awareness of the being that you are. And therefore there's balance, there's contents, constancy. And, you know, with the lights on, you don't run into walls anymore. Right. <laughs> right. That's exactly right. And what a better way to live, right? What, what, this, this living in the shadows, maybe, maybe listeners um, are experiencing that now, living in the shadows and living in have for some time. I know, um, I know what that's like. We all do. And that conscious choice to, um, this is no longer for me. I, I will not stand for it. There's so much power in that if you're willing to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like if a blind person were to see, were to know of sighted persons who go through life with a black blindfold on all day and all night, every day and every night, that blind person would say, what the heck is the matter with right. you? Right? right. But that's how we are if we are not in the light of consciousness. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly right. And we talk about, we've talked about on, on many, um, many of the episodes, I think about being engaged in this, in our, with our lives, with ourselves, in this, this consciousness, because then we start to understand, tying it back to what we talked about with feelings and these internal signals that we might get this, this guidance system that we have inside of us. Then we know what those things mean for us. We're not trying to escape them. We're not trying to push them away because we know those things are parts of us and they're there for a reason. They're there for, as part of us to help us on our journey. Right. In fact, that's how we fulfill our meaning, but through the experience. Because yeah. look, is life meant to be for us to be comatose in? No, absolutely not. not. No. So comatose is to me the opposite of experience. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, we don't know really if somebody is totally without experience when they're in a coma because sometimes they register things. But the way we think of as coma yes. is like yeah. you don't experience anything. You're like you're like dead except your body is still alive. Right. You know? And so our life is not meant to be not experienced. Right. But it has to be experienced in terms of us experiencing it. And if we're not in touch with who we are, we, the experiences don't come to us. They come to a false idea that we live with of who we are, not to yeah. us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's the biggest tragedy. Yeah. Life is meant to be experienced. So the, the meaning of life lies in its experience. Yes. And think about, I think about in my own life experiences that I've pushed away for various reasons. And it, it wakes you up to yourself with that, you know, that um, experiences are meant to be experienced. That's life. And I so, think yeah. so it's, it's, I should modify what I just said, because it's not just in its experience. It's in your experience of yourself in this life. Yes. Because yeah. you can experience trees, mountains, weather, talking and all that. But if you don't relate it to yourself, to your awareness of yourself, then it's just outer experiences that vanish the moment they're over. Right. Yeah. Well, this week we've been talking about 
all kinds of things. We've talked about feelings. We've talked about moving towards the light of our own consciousness, moving out of the shadows. We've talked about um, other things. I can't remember. We went all over the place kind of today, but this has been a very good conversation. Um, It's all been about the same thing, hasn't it? Yeah, yes. It's all been about us take valuing ourselves sufficiently yeah. to take hold of our life and give it to ourselves yes and experience Sharing that it. yeah exactly experience ourselves in it yes and so we, we we asked this last month and i'm going to ask it again to the listeners what what are you currently doing do, what are you currently doing about it in your life are you do you value yes. yourself sufficiently and if you say yes to that then what are you doing to experience yourself what are you doing? And, and we you want know, to hear from you. You're doing that. Ve- you're doing something very important. So that is, you, you keep on bringing it back to the point, you know, yeah, you can say yes to all of these things and still not do anything about it. Right. Right. That's how, how a lot of people do it. You know, I have a little side thought when you mentioned the pearls of wisdom mm-hmm. uh, and you describe them as like a succinct thought right yes. presented yes. and with a nice picture because i like pictures yes yes uh-huh. photographs i've taken all over the world mm-hmm. you know yes. well not all over the world but many parts of the world and people can receive those by email uh if they uh if they send in their email address yes you can send it in to to you or to me so you can give them those links right and um or they can see them on Facebook, my under my name. Yes, and I'll link to that in the show notes for for the listeners to find that easy. So yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That that was the side thought. <laughs> yes, and I would encourage everybody listening to sign up for those because, like I said, very succinct, very, uh, and the pictures are amazing. But they're they always. I mean, for me, I'm left with thinking more about how can I experience myself more? How can I, how can I experience myself? And I think those doing things like this, like having those kinds of reminders, that's an action somebody could take, right? Sign up for the, for, for the, to get the pearls of wisdom and actually read them and reflect on those and, and see what that means for you, right? See what that means in your own life. And so when we talk about and, and as you said, when I ask, what do you, because you can, you can say you want this, you can say you value yourself, you can say a lot of things, but, but the next question I'm always going to ask is what are you doing about it? Because right. there, are, there are so many, so many ways to consume information that is not like what we're talking about today with experiencing it, but it's often, um, it goes in like, you know, one ear and out the other kind of that's, and there's no, there's no benefit to it. And, and the information that we're talking about today has significant value. Um, if you're willing to do something. So each week I'm going to keep reminding or each month, I'm going to keep reminding the listeners and asking, what are you doing about this? Because, um, there's, it's important. And it's, it's why, why we have these conversations. It's why I do this show is to help people do exactly what we're talking about on here and wake up to themselves, wake up, go towards the light, stop running towards the, the shadow and, and move towards the light and see how your life changes. See how experiencing yourself, um, see what that does for you. Completely different way of being. And then experience how life becomes not only light lighted but light you yeah become lighter yeah. you become your life becomes more graceful and more smooth because you're not working against yourself anymore right when you're, yes. when you're in denial of your existence by not experiencing it then you know you, you run into trouble all the time that's right. the cause of our suffering right i think we did that's a, a big statement on. to make you know that it somehow is. our suffering is rooted in the denial of self-experience. Yes. And maybe we'll pick up on that topic next month because I know we've talked about it before, but I think that's always worth revisiting um, that, that impact that, that suffering has and what it does to us and in understanding our choice in it as well, yes. I think. You know, it just occurs to me, would... <clears throat> 
Would you allow yourself to drive the freeways every day in unconsciousness? No. Why not? <laughs> well, I would, I would, first off, that would be very dangerous and who knows what would happen and it would likely cause death because you would be, you had no idea where exactly. what you're supposed to be doing. Right. So you can, so that's my analogy for going through life yes. in yes. unconsciousness. Yes. Now, when we're driving, we can have, we can relate to a little smidgen of consciousness to accommodate the driving, you know, uh, to do it without accidents and so on. Right. But for life, we don't even do that. Right. Many people don't even do that because they, you can't be aware of being when you don't know what, who that being is. Right. Exactly. My guest this week has been Dr. Erhard Vogel, author of A Dialogue with Death, The Teacher of Life, An Ancient Story for the Modern World. So Erhard, as we close out today, what's one thought you want to leave with the listeners today? Everything that we said. <laughs> yeah. Go back and listen again. I think this has been a really good conversation that's worth a second or third listen, because there was a lot here today. I had one thought while we were talking, which is taking action, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, when I read, I read for my own enjoyment, mm -hmm. my own entertainment. And I, I never read just words. I, to me, they're just vehicles of experience. Mm -hmm. So I, I experience whatever I read, I experience, unless it's, unless it's some boring directions for a device or so. <laughs> I usually don't read those. I have somebody yeah. else read them, for me, read them and then tell me <laughs> because I don't like it. But anyway, so I experienced. So my books, my students, like Dialogue with Death, The Teacher of Life, they read that book over and over and over again. Yeah. They've written, read it dozens of times, even though it's a big book. And the smaller ones like Journey into Your Center, which is kind of like a, a series of interrelated essays mm -hmm. about just the, the practicality of being you, you know? Right. Uh, they, those books, like they have been read so many times, they're all, they're frayed. They just fall apart, books. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, and they still, they still get something new out of it yeah. every time they read them. They're very rich, they're very full, and but also very understandable if you, uh, if you tune in, you know? Yeah. And I'll link to that. Um, I know I've linked to the dialogue to death book, but I'll link to all of your books in the show notes as well. So the listeners can, um, easily see what those are. And I think that, that pointing that out of even listening to this conversation, again, you're going to be in a different place. Each time you listen to it, you're going to have had different experiences and there's, you just never know what insight might come. Um, if you're willing, again, if you're willing, if you value yourself sufficiently and you're willing to take action. Yeah. And you know, part of the action in terms of what we are doing here would be, wouldn't it be nice if our listeners were to respond to us? Yes. They could write to you, text to you or whatever. Uh, and respond to what they've experienced through our podcast here, yes. you know, and yes. or ask questions and ask for more, more elaboration on certain things and or tell what difficulty do, do they have to understand this or that or how do they want to cope with that. Uh, I, I wish we had like a, a, a almost a, a call in. Yeah. Show, right. But, <laughs> yes. That, that would be nice. I wish I could, I'm not sure how I could pull that off, but that would be really nice to do to have people call in. And, and that's a really good point. I mean, um, we want definitely want to hear your questions, anything you want us to expand on, or if you want to share your own experiences, you can always email us. My email is Sloan Fremont at PM.me. I'll put um, the email in the show notes and you can also comment on any of our social media any questions mm -hmm. you have, any comments, um, we read those. And last month we actually, we had a comment that we um, expanded on in the show. So we're, we're always open to that. So 
um, please do take action. <laughs> like we've talked about today, take action yeah. and, and move yourself forward. Because when you're willing to do that, when you're willing to step up for yourself and do that kind of stuff, and then you, you hear our response, you're going to open up even further and you're going to keep opening right. if you're willing to do that.